Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we will be attempting to do a full face cast of my face um, and I'm joined today by my husband. Hey. <laughs> Daddy. He, that's Riley, our daughter. Daddy. Hold on Rue. Yeah so he's going to be helping me because I can't do it on my own because obviously putting stuff over my eyes and everything is a bit dangerous i should have put a video up before this clip of all the ingredients that you need but if not i will put the list here on the screen now um so yeah wait first the first <laughs> this is rue <laughs> so the first thing that we will need to do is put prosaid along the hairline here i'm using cling film by the way because i don't actually currently have a bulk cap so I put Prosade along my hairline to cover my hair. Riley, you're putting mummy on. <laughs> so put Prosade along here and then we'll be putting clean film on. Try and blend in the clean film as much as we possibly can and hide all the hair because we do not want to get any of the ingredients in the hair. Nathaniel? Yeah. No ingredients in the hair. I'll do all that. And then we'll be putting Vaseline on any places that I've got hair, so my eyebrows, my eyelashes, just to make sure nothing gets stuck and starts pulling my hair out. So I'm going to put you on a time lapse, we're going to get all that sorted and then we'll explain the next step. I've tried blending in the cling film as much as possible. I'm just waiting for it to dry now. Um, I've got quite a red mark because I'm my skin is so sensitive to all the products that <laughs> there's not much I can do. But it is fine. It will like go down eventually. So I'm just gonna wait for this to dry, and then we're going to mix the alginate, um, which you have to work fast with it so we're going to do it in little batches at a time in the first batch i think we're gonna go around all my more detailed places like my mouth and my nose and then my eyes and then niche will quickly um mix up the next batch and just plaster my face in the alginate from probably about here all the way to underneath my chin make sure you wear old clothes because there's potential of it dropping um yeah, so literally just cover my face and alginate, but obviously go carefully around my nose to make sure that I've still got air holes to breathe, which we will sort out and fill in later. Um, so yeah, that's the first step. So as you can see from some blue bits on my face, we have already attempted the alginate and it sets fast, like really fast. Um, and obviously I need to get into all my details first. So I think Nidge is gonna mix up another batch and then I'm going to quickly do my detail bits as fast as I possibly can. Um, I'm not going to cover my eyes in it, um, I'm going to leave them free and then I'll show you how to fill in the eyes later. So I'll quickly do my detailed bits but obviously then I can't talk so hopefully I'll just do a voiceover. If not I'll write instructions on the screen as it's going along but fingers crossed it works okay but basically it'll be the alginate first, the um what is that called uh plaster of paris bandages over the top of that to keep um the alginate solid underneath and then i'll be able to take it off and then that's when we fill it with plaster
setting them up. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll use this other bowl and I'll get I'll make another batch of straight away. So in case you didn't hear that, she says she's blowing air inside it, out of her mouth, obviously, <laughs> uh, to try and help release it off. Do you want me to rip this cling film? Because mm. you're pulling on the you're pulling the cling film as well. Come on, there you go. Well, oh no, look, we're gonna have to smooth it out. Oh my god, that looks really good. It does. Apart from the fact my nose looks massive. <laughs> So yeah, shit, that was bad. And I can't believe you, he actually covered my nose. So I was literally breathing through a thin layer of... Buster Farris bandage. Yeah. I could feel it though when you did that and I was like, oh, my breathing's changed. I felt really claustrophobic. That's why yeah. I kept trying to say to him the whole time, like claustrophobic, claustrophobic. Like, yeah, it's hard work, especially when like he doesn't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so annoyed. Um, but yeah, I think that turned out really well. Yeah. It was really hard with the alginate when you, as you saw, it was like so lumpy. I looked like some, like awful. Yeah. Um, it's just so hard to get it smooth because it just dries Instantly. so fast, like really fast. But I think it turned out really well. It's got quite a lot of detail. Yeah. There is some things that I need to fill in. Um, so literally I'm going to make like a bed for it now, like. So like a bowl with like towels in and stuff. And then we need to, well not actually, we we'll pass the Paris um, bandage over the eyes first, then like put some alginate in it, smooth it all out. And then just fill in some more of these cracks and holes. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do that now and then we'll show you the next step. <laughs> covered the whole of the inside of the cast with Vaseline and now I'm going to make up the plaster of Paris to pour into it. It's two parts plaster to one part water. Yeah and then I'm going to put it all in the detailed parts first. Spread it out with my finger or my spatula. I've just got a normal like modelling spatula here. Smooth it all out and then pour the rest in. Okay, so this is basically the consistency you want. And then you wanna put bits, oh, sorry. <laughs> in the more detailed areas and just start smoothing it out before you start pouring the rest in. So I now have my mold still in its little bed. I've left it quite a few days actually. I think it's been three days since I actually made this um i want to get it out i haven't actually purchased the wood glue that we're going to seal it with once we've made sure that we've sanded it down and got it to where we want it 
um but i just want to get it out before i don't know something goes wrong so i have watched a few tutorials that have said that the cast can get moldy after a while like this one i don't know how true that is but so i'm literally going to pull along the edges here and hopefully it should just slip out Ooh quite easily because of the Vaseline that I put in it before pouring the plaster of Paris in. I think I'm literally just going to have to tear it away. Yeah, and it slipped out really easily. So this is my face. <laughs> Well, I haven't actually carved it or anything, but the detail around my mouth is really, really good, to be fair. But I need to get the alginate and everything that's actually stuck on it and everything off. I'm pretty impressed with that, to be fair. But yeah, I've literally got some 150 grit sandpaper here and some tools to like carve out and try and get some detail. carving away at it a little bit and sanding it it's really hard to do to be fair obviously if I had more time sorry about my nail varnish um yeah if I had more time I might do a little bit more to it later I mean like I said I haven't got the wood varnish to seal it at the moment so I will be coming back to do that um yeah if I do have time I will go at it a bit more but around the eyes it's just it's so hard and because we just filled all that in after we took the cast off. It's just made my eyes really bumpy. I mean, I'm not that bothered. I'm really happy with the detail. Obviously, I've got my main face shape. My lips are really detailed. I don't know whether the camera's picking that up. But my lips are really detailed. And I do just want mainly my face shape just to build prosthetics on it and things like that. So I am pretty impressed with it, to be fair. don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So that is basically it. And then once you're done carving and sanding and you're happy with it, you just need to cover it in a few coats of wood varnish to seal it. So yeah, this is it. I will be back once I've got the wood varnish to show you the final product. Hey guys, so welcome back for the 100th time I swear I've been going at this for ages it has basically been almost a week um <clears throat> so this is my face I have tried carving it more smoothing it out more I've still got some really big bumps here um and my eyes are still really messed up but remember they're not my actual eyes <laughs> um I think main tips for me is if you have someone there that knows what they're doing or you can just have a practice run first obviously this is mine and nathaniel's first time actually doing it yeah i'd get someone to completely cover your face in alginate first if you're comfortable with doing that or spend longer filling out the eyes afterwards which we really didn't spend a lot of time doing Nidge obviously plaster of Paris over my eyes and we tried putting alginate in that up, but the alginate ended up really bumpy in the eye area. <sighs> Hence the really freaky eyes. And I feel like if I just keep carving, I'm gonna have really big indents in the eye area. Um, but I mean, for my first attempt, I'm really happy with it. Um, and it is just mainly the main face shape, like I've already said. A million times that I wanted so yeah it's all good so you want to get yourself either wood glue or a water-based varnish to seal your face <laughs> um 
It has to be water-based, not oil-based, because the oil will break down the plaster if you use oil-based. So I'm literally going to go ahead and paint mine with water-based varnish, and then I'll show you what, what it looks what it looks like after one coat, and then I'm probably going to just keep doing as many coats as I feel is necessary. I'll probably end up doing like four, maybe. But yeah, that'll basically be it. So I'm just going to quickly varnish it. much it a nice shiny face <laughs> this is literally just one coat i'm gonna go off and do the rest of the coats and then get ready for my next sfx tutorial um my hair is a little bit of a clue with what i'm doing next um and also do realize by the way sorry whilst recording this i realize i'm wearing gray again in every single clip that you'll see along this video, I'm wearing grey. Grey is my favourite colour along with black. And that is mainly what I wear the most of. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm not overly colourful. Hopefully when summer comes along, I'll bring out a bit more colour. Fingers crossed. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't a bit all over the place. Because to me, it kind of felt like it was. But I hope I helped you along the way somehow and you picked up some tips. I tried to add as much in there as I possibly could. If I didn't, I'll try and add it in in a voiceover or text on the screen or something. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It means so much to me and I'll see you on the next one.